Today we're turning this rusted out old gas tank into a couple of planters. So we've been slowly cleaning out Jesse's front yard, which was formerly inhabited by a hoarder, and we've been trying to turn as much of the junk into usable items as possible. After checking to make sure there was no leftover fuel residue in this tank, I cut it in half using my angle grinder. This was really easy to do because the metal isn't that thick. There were a couple of random rubber hose sticking out of it, and I just used a reciprocating saw to trim those off. Now, one of the things I really like about working with Krylon Fusion all-in-one spray paint is that you don't need to do a lot of prep work. I used a wire brush on my angle grinder just to remove the loose rust and dirt that was on the outside of this tank. I want this to sit off of the ground a few inches so that it can properly drain, so I cut some pieces of 2-inch angle steel to serve as feet. The tank has this fin that runs along the side, so I had to cut out a notch in the angle steel that would fit around that. I could have just welded the steel to the steel, but I thought it would be a little bit more DIY friendly if I drilled holes and then bolted the pieces together. I used a flap disc to round over all the edges, and then placed the feet onto the bottom of the tank so that I could trace the holes that I drilled in the angle steel onto the tanks themselves. One of the tank halves already has a big hole that I'll use for drainage, but the other side didn't, so I just drilled five medium-sized holes really quickly to create a centralized drainage area. I've been working with Krylon on a whole lot of upcycling projects. We actually redid my whole back patio using Krylon spray paint. I really like the Krylon Fusion all-in-one spray paint. It has five times greater adhesion, comes in a variety of amazing colors. Right here I'm using Matte Glacier Gray. The spray paint goes on smoothly and easily. The can is well designed to minimize clogging and drippage, and you don't need a primer. I also like that I can use one type of spray paint on a lot of different materials. This project is almost all metal, but I have used Krylon Fusion on plastic, wood, and pretty much every other material under the sun. Once the paint had fully cured, I just placed the angled feet and dropped in some quarter 20 bolts. I don't want these planters dripping everywhere, so I wanted to close up one of the holes so that all the drainage would go right into a saucer that I could put under the main hole. So I just cut some screen for both holes and used construction adhesive to glue it down. Now the mesh kind of wants to bend up a little bit, so I just used some really strong magnets to hold it flat to the steel tub. For the hole that I wanted to close, I just squeezed a whole bunch of construction adhesive and then used a putty knife to seal it all up. I flipped the tank over and made sure to caulk it from the other side as well. This is a really sloppy way to do it, but it's super fast. And once you open the tub of construction adhesive, you might as well use a little bit more of it. The other half was a lot easier since there was no additional holes other than the ones that I drilled intentionally for drainage. I don't want water though to leak out along the bolts. So I just squirted some construction adhesive underneath the washers before tightening everything down. Once the construction adhesive had fully cured, I just poured in about an inch and a half layer of gravel. This will just help serve as a drainage layer and then started placing my plants. These are going to be a nice addition to the patio for our new house. They kind of can direct traffic to and create a little bit of a barrier for pets or children. And I kind of like how the corrugation looks on the side. It kind of reminds me a little bit of shipping containers. Thanks for watching. Click on the link in the description to learn more about the Krylon products that I use. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.